Simple plan. 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 Enjoy the song that got you in trouble with YouTube copyright laws. It's called Untitled it's by Simple Plan, not Dashboard Confessional like you thought. I started a little bit at the end of that. I guess I don't have all of the fast talking down. Good morning, AJ. It's Friday, March 3rd. Wait. No, it's not. AJ, this entire last week I thought it was March 3rd, but it's actually March 6th. March 3rd isn't even one of my vlog days. Special shout out, by the way, to Fujimura Sensei. Happy birthday. Um, we know how you're celebrating right now. Me and Megan went to go pick up Sean from school at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't actually leave Sensei's room until probably 10. Because we were just hanging out the whole time. We haven't seen Sensei in like two years. One thing I haven't learned is how to keep from being able to see the computer screen in my glasses. Is that better? I knew at the time of filming that Tachyon's provided a serious nuisance to Dr. Manhattan and his powers. However, he is not actually weak to them. I don't have the book with me, so I can't prove it to you, but I'm pretty sure that they just kind of keep him from being able to see time and space. His main power is still the ability to reconstruct matter, which he can still do even in the presence of a high Tachyon field. However, Kryptonite versus Superman Kryptonite always wins because Superman loses all of his powers, he becomes incredibly weak. Thus, because of their relative impotence, I did not include tachyons in our discussion about Dr. Manhattan versus Superman. By the way, I think on Tuesday you asked me what my favorite superpower would be if I had a superpower, and I didn't answer yesterday or Wednesday because I was really, I was really low on time and I had to actually cut out like five minutes of material. So here it is. If I had any superpower in the world, it would be the power of super charisma. The ability to alter people's emotions and possibly even perceptions of reality just with my words. Think about all the things you could do with that power. Say like, say you were bested by some superhero like say Captain Hammer and thrown into jail, you know? But how? what's to say you can't get out of jail by convincing the owner of the jail to give you the deed? I think that it would also make me the leader of some kind of gigantic like organization of supervillains and you know that I've always fancied myself if I was some kind of supervillain as like a puppet master type kind. Also use the forces based off of your charisma and you know that I like to be a very powerful force user. I would also be like a master computer hacker. Today me and Megan came up with the awesome idea of a supervillain that can control the media, can change like the words on a teleprompter or news articles or something can actually alter them and in that way he can control the opinions of entire nations. Naturally we would name this villain Murdoch. I had a question on Wednesday but I didn't have enough time to ask it because I kind of had to cut that part out. Um, Push-up Wednesdays. On push-up Wednesdays, do we still want to do that? Because I realized after weeks and weeks and weeks of you watching me do push-ups, it gets kind of boring after a little while. You know, I mean, I'm still doing the challenge and we're still gonna, you know, I'm still gonna film doing 100 push-ups when I can finally do it. But in the interim, do we still want to see push-up Wednesdays or is that honestly kind of boring? Also, I think we're onto something with getting that YouTube book finally, but I don't have any money. So if we're gonna get it, you're gonna have to goo it. Goo it? That doesn't even make sense. As you're going off of what you were saying yesterday, I think that we have changed a lot in our vlogging and our vlogging styles and in our attitudes towards the product project in the last two months. I think what's really interesting to see is the differences between how I vlog and how you vlog. For instance, personally, I think that you are more natural in front of the camera. I think that the words kind of roll off of your tongue a little bit easier. I think that I compensate for my lack of personability by going kind of crazy. You know, I tend to do a lot of screaming and a lot of running around. I think in a way I'm a little bit more mindful of trying to get our videos out to people who don't know us and would be, might possibly be interested in watching our videos. However, I think that your vlogs have somewhat more interesting subject matter. Uh, AJ, I'll see you next week.